Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. This is gonna be me prepping for my chin surgery. I need to prep for the holidays. I'm gonna go work out. I'm getting like back into my routine for these next two days until my routine gets ruined again with my chin and then Christmas and then I'm home again for a few days and then I go to Paris. So, we're just like doing the best that we can. I haven't worked out in a week because I was sick last week and Coco had all the drama and I am like actually scared. Like I brought my Athletic Greens pack. This is not sponsored. Um, I've just been loving it and I'm gonna try to put it in a grande water. Getting my coffee. My workout starts in 15 minutes so I hope that this will put a little pep in their step, you know? If y'all are new here, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy. I like doing just chill vlogs, if you will. Awesome, thank you, have a good day. We're gonna try this. Mixing my athletic greens in my kitchen is like already a mess. So why I'm doing this in my car, I don't know. I really, really don't know. I'm a genius, all right. Guys, I cannot catch a break. Oh my God, ow. Okay, so last week, I was sick all week. I mean, I'm still kind of like, Oh, I sound sick and Coco, you know, obviously. So I just finally was like, I'm gonna go work out. I'm so excited. I haven't worked out in a week. Um, and I did something to my shoulder and I'm in so much pain. So I'm gonna run a few areas that I need to run and then I made a chiropractic appointment at 11.45. This has happened to me before and I couldn't move for like two days. There's something wrong with my shoulder. Honestly, it's probably just that I have like the wrong form on something, but I'm in pain. Anyways, we're doing a little bit of Christmas prep. We're also doing surgery prep because I've got to pick up some prescriptions. We're gonna go to Stola Tab right now to get some, hopefully, wrapping paper. I need to get some gifts for my parents, and then I need to get some stuff wrapped. We gotta, gotta get things together. I was supposed to go to the Whiskey Ranch tonight, but my plan was to take my little brother and just found out it's a 21 plus event and Cody's 19. So, don't think that that is happening anymore, but it was gonna be like Scoot McNair, it was cool. It's also an hour away, and I'm also in pain now. So, we gotta see, we gotta figure this one out. Oh my God, I, guys, I like feel like such a whim, but I am actually in pain. This is not good. Guys, I just got incredible news. Where, where's my back? Regarding um, tribal in the month of January and myself, okay? Get excited this is literally all i have wanted for so long Whew. okay well now that i'm grandma and can't move my back i am gonna go get some wrapping paper and some gifts and look at my to-do list i also need to go to the liquor store because i'm doing a deal with nick jonas's tequila brand which is also very very cool i really love my life i'm very grateful last week i was down in the dumps i'm gonna be honest with you i was not doing well this week we're on the up and up, not even a semi-broken back. Can keep me, can hold me down, okay? Just taking off some things on my oh, wrapping paper. Ooh, okay, gotta go. I am literally a Santa Claus. This is another thing people don't tell you about what happens when you're becoming an adult. Wrapping, I mean, granted, I went to paper stores, so I could have gone somewhere else, which is the closest, is so expensive. I just spent so much money at paper stores, like, more than I spent on, like, some gifts. It was actually insane, but I do really like nice wrapping. Like, that's the one thing I'm, you know, into, and normally I wrap as I go, so they're normally, like, out in front of my tree for longer. This time it'll only be about a week, but still, it's a thought that counts, you know? So now we have to go to the liquor store. It's like 11 a.m. Uh, because, you know, Nick Jonas personally asked me, I'm sure, or requested me to do a deal for his tequila brand. So I need to go get stuff to make drinks. <sighs> this is not the day to be doing heavy lifting, guys. Like, I literally can't get over how expensive that was. And yes, yes, obviously I did it to myself. And yes, it is because I'm lazy and I didn't want to go into the Target. Listen, this is something we should actually, as a society, be talking about more. Target in cities sucks. You have to be in a suburb and then it's incredible. I grew to hate Target when I lived in, I don't hate Target, I love Target, all right, let's be honest, but when I lived in LA, Target in the city, not it. When I living in the city of Dallas, not it. Let me tell you, Target's in McKinney, Texas, in like the suburbs, so nice, so much better, whatever. I just like didn't want to deal with the target in the city. So I did it to myself and I'm ashamed. Anyways, we're off.
Back home, time for a haul. My shoulder is still really hurts. I got so much stuff that just was stupid. I have this golf mug to be funny because my mom thinks she's Tiger Woods. I also got them a little like Ted Lasso mug. I don't know why I just saw these. She loves Ted Lasso, so figured might as well. That's not really what I got her for Christmas, but just like random stuff. Look at this cute new ornament I got. I've got some, picked up some great ornaments this year. A little Home Alone ornament. I like love ornaments. They're really, when I was younger, I was like, why would anyone want an ornament for Christmas? Because then you can't use it for another year. And now I'm like, please, the more ornaments, the better. Like it's really, they also are expensive. Holiday card for my grand, my, not my grandparents, my parents. Their gift card right here. I actually got this and it's supposed to be like a little hot thing that helps. A heat pillow. Microwave for one to two minutes. This I'm hoping will help my back. So we'll see. Or my shoulder or whatever. Okay, I got black tissue paper. These are all the bags I got because I got a bunch of custom bobble bar blankets. The black feels harsh, but that's the only one they had matching. So I was like, whatever. Cute little stickers for the presents. I got a small one for these mugs that's not gonna fit both of the mugs. So I'll have to wrap one of them. And then I got my dad this for his new desk because he just opened a med spa in Dallas. Dermani Med Spa, Preston Hollow, Kenzie 10. You guys will get hooked up. Um, it's great. A lot of y'all have been going. By the way, thank you so much. My father is so happy. Um, you go say, obviously you're coming from me and say hello to my father. It's in Preston Hollow. That's where I get everything done now. They have hydrofacials, laser. What else do they have? Chemical peels, other facials, um, injections, Botox, like literally everything. But it's with actual nurse practitioners, so it's a way better, like, actual job. And their subscription, like, if you become a member, you save so much money. What your units cost for Botox is, like, way cheaper than other places. That is what I got mainly from Paper Source. There's more wrapping paper over there I'll show you later. And now I'm going to film my Villa One ad, which is Nick Jonas's tequila obviously like i said earlier he obviously personally picked me out and now i will be promoting his tequila brand so nick you're welcome i don't know why i haven't ever purchased this tahine like rim thing i obviously always have tahine but i was like this is perfect for my margaritas i just like never go to the actual liquor store so i've never seen this in person and then i got another margarita little mixer we got some simple syrup, some cranberry thing. I'm basically just making a Christmas mark, if you will. So this is the first time I'm actually using the garden, which I need to water the plants anyways. So we'll go do that. But I need time and I don't have time in my fridge, but I do have time in the garden. So we are grabbing some. I also got this like garden cover thing. Oh, my laundry that I need to do. I'm like, I don't even look at this. I got a garden cover because it's going to freeze like literally tomorrow. Things are growing like crazy. This is wild needs to be watered. Well, actually, not really. Look at all this kale and arugula. Definitely needs water. Well, it's, I don't know. What am I thinking? I don't have time here. Well, I need rosemary. That's what I'm at. Look at me, guys. I'm like actually an old woman. I'm gardening, I'm watering my garden with this heat pack thing on. Like, this is no good. This is no good at all. Here we go. How exciting. I'm so proud of myself. Here's the thing, I know that all these plants are probably like about to die due to the cold winter months and we'll just have to, you know, like replant things in the spring. That's okay, that's okay with me. But honestly, like, this is crazy, okay? This is honestly crazy. Okay, everyone doubted me and like the stuff that's not growing over here, that's because of all the drama. This is incredible. We're gonna film an old school what's in my bag video. First things, the brush. This is the Okine Puff bag. I'm sure you guys have seen it in all my vlogs. It's the best bag ever. It fits so much stuff and it's under $100. I already got my two sunglasses out. Well, these are sunglasses. These are Versace. And then these are my actual glasses from Warby Parker. AirPod, Air Maxes, whatever they're, I don't know what they're called. Bishop Arts Passport from Dallas Sites. Finish Spray. This is the spray that I use. I spray my face after I work out. It's CBD spray, so it like calms it down a ton. Oh, I have this Stony Clover little bag that has all my lip products in it. It's really helpful because when I'm like searching through my bag, they're all together in here. And then I use my pockets for like other stuff. My wallet. Glow screen, of course. Meds, you know. I've really been falling apart lately. 
my keys, a Coco's handkerchief, and then vitamins that I'm literally never gonna remember to take. I love this bag, like, so much. Obviously, yes, it is my brand. I know that, but, like, even if it wasn't mine, I would be, like, equally obsessed with it. It is the best bag ever. It fits so much stuff. Like, my Kindle's normally in here. I can even put my laptop in here if I want. Um, and it's literally the best bag ever. Under $100. Like, cannot recommend enough. It's on the O-Kind now. It's the best bag ever. It's great for day-to-day, -day, but it's also a really good bag, like, for the gym. Or, like, Pilates and stuff. Weightlifting, whatever. It's just the best. And I also get compliments on it literally all the time. So... Guys, I feel like all I've been doing in the past, like, vlogs is just complaining, but, like, my back hurts so bad. So, um, I do feel better because I went to the chiropractor. It feels better than it would have. I'm going to take an Epsom salt bath. I still need to do my laundry and then figure it out. I've got to edit and work a lot on my computer, and I really want to read the Dallas Book Club book that I've been reading. It's 20 years later. It is so good. The next book club meeting, by the way, is January 10th. It's in the link of my Instagram and stuff, my Instagram bio and whatever. Um, you can RSVP in there. It's open to like literally anyone. We meet at Wild Detectives. It's really fun. It is so good so far. I'm only at like 25%, 30%, but I kind of want to finish like the whole thing tonight. We'll see. I really just want some like peace and quiet calmness to myself because obviously Christmas this weekend, it's going to be crazy. Next up, I have all this laundry to do. Okay. Before, all gone. Thank God. self-tanned and I'm back in my new favorite pajamas these are skims and they're just so comfortable my back is killing me and I need to get vlogging not vlogging editing oh my god guys like I am not what is up with me I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm giving for Christmas because by the time it goes up I think this is Christmas maybe Merry Christmas if in case Merry Christmas if so um I got a bunch of bobble bar custom blankets for Alyssa with her new last name, Alyssa and Colby with their new, well, their last name come soon. I also got her a coat that she wanted. I got my a coat that she wanted. I got Sophie a custom light that's supposed to say Sophia came in saying hello. And the people, like yellow pot people or whatever, are telling me that I said hello. I would have never ordered a sign that said hello. The whole point of ordering the sign was to get it saying Sophia and I wouldn't be annoyed if it was for anyone else besides Sophie like she's seven and needs a Christmas gift on Christmas morning you know what I mean she only can get room decor this year they said no toys so now I'm like okay I did get her a custom blanket too but I'm like I have to figure something out for her to open and then just figure it out it also takes a month to have them made like I ordered this so far in advance it was supposed to be all good and now I am stressed and my gift like my love language is gift giving and I always give her the best gifts I'm like the aunt with the good gifts you know so anyways that has been annoying um what else did I get my mom I got her those two mugs and then she wants like a med spa gift card um, my dad and my stepmom, I got them a Stola Tab gift card. I got them, my dad and my grandpa, like, custom Steelers blankets with their names on them that match. So they can watch them, wear them when they watch the games together. I got my stepdad, like, a golf shirt thing, I think, that he wanted. What else did I get? My sister and I are doing gifts. I got my brother a Mad Happy sweatshirt. Oh, I got my stepsister and my brother-in-law something off their registry for their baby because they just want, like, baby gifts. Um, because we have another baby coming in the family due in February I'm Trying to think I know that this is like probably not the most helpful thing ever because it is Christmas And you guys are probably already done your Christmas shopping But maybe you have money and you want to spend it on Christmas or like just these can be like future gift ideas Who else am I forgetting anyone? Let me look on my app I think we're not really strangers for kids just like to have fun with Sophie Not that she really cares about that stuff right now, but like it was fun for me um I think that's it. I think that's everything I got for Christmas. At least that I'm like wrapping and everything. Anyways, gonna get to editing and cozy up. I'm taking care of Coco. She's been in the, she's crate resting right now. She's been in the crate like most of today, but she's really just sleeping. She's like so tired. 
The log that I'm keeping for her meds is actually crazy. Speaking of, I need to update it. I'm gonna edit and then hopefully I will have time to read the book club book. It is so good. guys it's the next day i'm on my way to go get the meds that i need for my surgery tomorrow surgery sounds so drastic i'm not even going under it's gonna be fine um and then i also need to get my hair done so that's what we're doing i have a lot of work to do i woke up this morning guys i don't know what is wrong with me the past couple of weeks it feels like i'm complaining on stuff but like there's just something not working for me okay because my neck or my shoulder is in so much pain even after the chiropractor i have like two icy hot patches on it right now and it's gotten a little bit better but i had to cancel my workout this morning and i just feel like when i'm off my workouts and my morning routine i feel like i'm like trapped and like i'm like running on like a hamster wheel that i'm not getting out of and i like, get really anxious and like i just hate it so that's how I feel today, and the bad news is that I'm getting plastic surgery tomorrow. So it's not like I can get back into my routine immediately, and then it's the holidays, and then I go to Europe, and then, you know, whatever. I mean, all great things, but as far as, like, getting into my routine goes, it's not going to happen for a bit. I'm getting new extensions today. I'll take them guys along. I go to my sister, Madison Piper, her hair. She's at Global Group. Group. She does um, color and extensions, and then I go to cut to Gus for my cut. I almost said Gus. Anyways, um... guys just got my hair done it looks so much better i had to get new hair like for my extensions driving at night so i have my sun my glasses on not my sunglasses on it's a little bit longer than it was with my new hair i just didn't cut it as much but i feel like a brand new woman i'm gonna go home and my groceries probably just arrived and then i'm hopefully just gonna finish the book that i've been reading which is for the dallas book club we am reading on january 10th um, it's so good. I'm at like 50% now. For, it's really good, but for some reason, I just like haven't been able to stay. I've been so exhausted. So I finally got to read like 30% in there and it was just so good. Got my groceries for the next few days because I'm hoping I can get a lot of cooking done. I have a few new recipes that I want to try. So I'm not going to show, I mean, you guys can see everything that I got. Um, but I'll probably be like TikToking it or something. Coco will not stop barking. I want to give you guys a better view of my hair. Here we are. I'm in my skin's pajamas. And I'm getting out of bed early tonight because tomorrow is surgery. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I love a neat guy. Somebody who's like super clean, neat, put together, whatever. But there's some things that I'm like, oh my god, you're a little cuckoo. Like I remember like his, his, um iPhone charger when it was like plugged into the wall it was like all folded up and like tied in a perfect knot and stuff and I was like whoa you're like really like controlled in a way that I don't like because sometimes I can be also like super regimented and like controlled so I need somebody who's a little bit more messy 